American Civil War 2023. Is it a possibility? Um, not only is it a possibility, it's already begun. Um, I'm going to go through a few points here I have written down in my little booklet. Uh, just some thoughts that I have. Um, I am a Bible-believing preacher, and the Lord has given me the ability to prophesy certain things according to the Scriptures. Uh, the Bible is a more sure word of prophecy. So if the Bible says something is going to happen, I can look at current events and say, I wonder if this fits into it. And if it does, then I know it's going to come to pass. So I'm going to tell you what the future is going to be. Um, the Civil War is not going to be between the North and the South. Obviously. Who's it going to be between? Well, liberal versus conservative. That's who it is going to happen between. And you can see this clearly because of all the anger and the hatred and everything that's building. We have irreconcilable differences. All right. uh, the liberals, they believe certain things about people and that they have rights according to what they want to do. There's no such thing as perversion with the liberal left. The conservative right people say, uh, no, actually there is something called perversion and that's going too far and you shouldn't be allowed to just use whatever uh, bathroom you want and you shouldn't dress up as a woman if you're a man and a man if you're a woman and you shouldn't get surgeries and all the other stuff. We're not going to agree. It's irreconcilable differences. Okay, um, the liberal left says that uh, you shouldn't be able to defend yourself. The right says, uh, you know, shall not be infringed. Um, the liberal left says uh, we should call certain things hate speech and persecute people for and take away their freedom of speech and freedom of religion. Uh, and the right say no, just let it go. Liberty of conscience. Say what you want, as long as you're not, you know, saying to bomb something or whatever else. Um, we can't reconcile our differences. So the question comes up, what would this war look like? Would it be an actual uh, organized military conflict like what it was in the Civil War back in the 19th century with people in uniforms and marching and taking orders and you know, rank and file the whole thing? Will it be that or will it just be local skirmishes? Um, something happens, the news media blows it out of proportion and now there's people protesting on this side and people protesting on this side and violence gets started and the other people respond violently and all of a sudden you have killing going on. I would tend to say that that's probably the more likely thing that we will see this year. Maybe not. Maybe it'll go to next year or something with the political elections. Selections, actually, more accurately. I don't know how it's going to go. It could eventually, it could start out as local skirmishes and then go to organized military conflict. Um, I don't know. I mean, there was clear lines of demarcation with the first Civil War where you had the North and the South and the Mason-Dixon line. Um, maybe it'll be like that. I don't know. Uh, but this war, you say, well, how's it going to be generated? How's this going to happen? Well, the media. It's up to the media. Um, the media thrives on um, dividing this nation so that it can be conquered. Um, and I'm talking both sides, conservative and liberal. Um, both sides are igniting the flames and getting people riled up and things. Um, if uh, somebody that was saved and, and if the Lord said, I'm going to allow America to become a great nation again or something, well, was allowed to take over, you could just... you. Could, solve the problems of this country very quickly but that's not the case uh, this nation is being purposefully destroyed uh, ultimately by God I'll just tell you that um, because this nation has sinned great sins and God is going to bring an end to this wicked nation um, there aren't many preachers that will tell you that but I'm saying it out of love because I want to warn people and if you are part of the liberal left I'm going to warn you about who is going to take over and what's going to happen to you when they do um, what is the war that we currently have? Well, right now, we are in the phase of non-kinetic warfare. Kinetic warfare is bombs, bullets, guns, the whole thing. People getting shot, screaming medic, and the whole, you know, you understand what I'm saying. Airplanes, tanks, all that stuff. Non-kinetic warfare is going after the mind. Going after people, radicalizing people, getting people to go into this movement or that movement, getting people ready for the kinetic warfare that comes later. Um, and you can clearly see it. You can clearly see the divide that's there. Um, people are getting ready for violence because we are already in the first stage of warfare. I mean, there's, you could make other stages, but I'm saying in this war that's coming, the non-kinetic warfare 
um, is when people get radicalized and take their sides and get ready to fight. I'll show you a verse of scripture here from my little Bible here. Matthew chapter 12, verse 25 um, and 26. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Uh, America is a kind of a form of a kingdom. You say it's a nation. Well, you know, we've been certainly very good at building empires around the world. And um, it's, um, it's divided right now. America is not, you know, united we stand. No, it's divided we fall. Um, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Hmm. Well, who's the one that's in here doing this stuff right now? And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? You see, Satan is behind both movements right now. Um, and ultimately, it's God allowing him to do it as a way to punish the American people because God gave the American people free will to do right or wrong. And for many generations, the American people did right. They weren't perfect, but they did a much better job than they're doing currently. And then uh, the devil started to introduce things through his servants, like evolution theory and a lot of other things, which I won't get into, false religions, false Bibles, a lot of things like that. And um, the dividing started to happen. And all of a sudden, Americans weren't Americans anymore. They were leftists. They were Republicans. They were right they were Democrats, they were independent, they were libertarians, they were uh, LGBTQI, they were straight, they were, you know, black, they were white, they were whatever. Division. Divide and conquer. That's what's going to happen. I will promise you that. And here's how it's going to work. Whether or not they can wait till the next selection, when they put another leader in, um, this... Well, I'll get back to the Trump thing in a minute. Whether or not they'll wait till the next selection process, because we don't have real elections on the presidential level. That's nonsense. You need to wake up to that. Um, the elections have been rigged for many years now. They could bring in a new guy on the right wing Republican side and whatever else that's very radical and things. They could wait till then to do it, or it could happen even sooner. Um, right now, as I speak, this whole thing of Donald Trump, he's been arrested and there's protesters on this side, there's protesters on that side, see the Civil War. Um, what's going to happen? I don't know at this point in time. Um, but at some point in time, a right-wing conservative is going to stand up and it's going to bring, he'll bring in alt-right fascism with the Christian, you know, terminology and whatever else. And when that happens, I would say if there are sodomites or whatever kind of perverts or things, liberal leftists, if there's any left, um, by that point in time, if it, there hasn't been a civil war and they haven't been killed, they will be rounded up and put in camps and exterminated. And unfortunately, there's a lot of young people that have been drawn into this by the wicked educational system, the indoctrinational system of the public schools, where they're taught if you're awkward around members of the opposite sex, you don't really feel comfortable asking them out or whatever else, getting a date or something. If you're a girl, you can't get a boyfriend. A boy, you can't get a girlfriend. And they say, well, maybe it's because you're, you know, gay. Uh, and then they confuse this young person. And maybe they even go so far as to say, you know, you might have been born the wrong, you know, gender. And now you should actually go and get a surgery and have your gender changed. Because you probably aren't the right gender. It's terrible. Okay, I don't know why any parent with any brains sends their children to public school. And yet there's still people that defend it on this channel and claim to be Christians. And I don't, it boggles my mind. Uh, mm -hmm. Sending your children into a horrible place like that where they can be messed up by these wicked people. And uh, be shot at and whatever else. Oh, we have lockdown drills and things. Yeah, real nice place to send your child. But that's another issue. Um, but if you're in that movement. If you are a leftist that, is, that you're watching this video, somebody sent you this video, please listen to me. The future, I will tell you right now, the Antichrist system is a system of a fascist religious system. Okay, with Adolf Hitler and the Nazis, you had fascism, but there wasn't a religious aspect 
per se. There were some people that were sick enough in the head that they worshipped Hitler, but Hitler was not claiming to be God, openly claiming to be God. The Antichrist, on the other hand, is going to be openly claiming to be Jesus Christ. He will claim to be God. He sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 talks about that. So the danger here is this system that's coming in, it won't be the Antichrist system. I don't believe we're that close to that yet. But it will be a trial run for the Antichrist system. They're going to try it out here in America first. But America's not in Bible prophecy, so that's how you know this isn't it. This is not what the Bible says in Revelation. But they're going to try it out. Right? Um, so if you're wise, you'll get away from that movement. Because when the killing gets started, they're not going to come up to you and ask you what your leanings are or whatever else. If they see rainbow collars on you or they can you know, suspect anything, you'll probably be shot dead or something like that. Uh, the violence is going to be very bad in this nation. I'm trying to warn you in advance. Um, the, if the liberal leftists think that they're going to have a chance against the alt-right when it rises to power, you're kidding yourself. Uh, you are absolutely kidding yourself. And all the stuff that you see in the media, well, there's transgender people and they're posing with AR-15s and all this stuff. It's all just to ignite the right. Again, I've been preaching that for many years. Please get out of that system. Please understand what I'm talking about here. Watch some of my videos. Get saved. Okay? Because you need Jesus Christ to be your protector for what's coming. All right? Um, he'll help you clean up your life. Okay? So that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching.